Mac OS boot sequence. The boot process starts with the activation of boot ROM, the basic Macintosh ROM, which performs a power on self test to test hardware essential to startup. On the passing of this test, the startup chime is played and control of the computer is passed to open firmware. Open firmware initializes the random access memory, memory management unit and hardware necessary for the ROM's operation. The open firmware then checks settings stored in NVRAM and builds a list of all devices on the device tree by gathering their stored F code information. On the completion of this task, Bootex takes over the startup process, configuring the keyboard and display, claiming and reserving memory for various purposes, and checking to see if various key combinations are being pressed. After this process has been completed, Bootex display the grey Apple logo, spins the spinning weight cursor and proceed to load the kernel and some kernel extensions and start the kernel. The detailed description of the above is as follows. Boot ROM As the name suggests, Boot ROM is read-only memory which contains boot programs, post and open firmware. Power on self-test is the initial process which checks the functionality of a basic hardware attached to the computer including RAM. Open firmware. The remaining hardware is initialized by open firmware it also checks all the hardware associated with the system and builds the initial device tree. Bootex The bootex initializes the kernel and the drivers required to boot the system from the cached set of device drivers. In case it is not present, it is loaded for system slash library slash extensions for the same. Kernel Once the kernel is loaded, it initializes the input-output kit which is used to control input-output devices. After this, the kernel initializes the launched process. LAUNCHD it is process used for bootstrapping and is responsible for starting every system process. It also manages system initialization and starts the login window process. The launch also manages daemon, a program who manages service request. Startup scripts and startup item. As soon as etc slash rc dot local is executed, it initializes the basic system by performing file system consistency check and initiating system starter process the process used for launching startup items. For system configuration related information, it refers to etc slash host config. The login window process. This process displays the login screen that allows the user to authenticate and then start up and manage the graphical interface user environment based on the account preferences. User Environment Setup 
after the user's credentials are authenticated, the user environment setup is performed based on the user's preferences. 